r slash ask reddit girls of reddit what's something guys do that creep you out try to block my way have had men playfully stand in doorways and refuse to move and get upset when i get agitated start calling me by pet names when we've just met i gave my number to a really sweet guy we texted and in about an hour he was calling me his queen and princess and all sorts of just really weird intimate nicknames I told him I was uninterested pretty soon after that. Where's my hug? My friend, who has never had a relationship so he's decently deprived of physical contact and recently told me he's unsure about his sexuality, has recently started saying I don't do handshakes, I do hugs and I hate it, I despise being touched unless I'm the one to initiate it, he knows this. It leads to a bunch of really awkward moments where he clearly expects me to apologize for not giving him a hug. Like we are both grown men. I saw you two days ago. You live three blocks away. Stop trying to coerce me into a hug. Can I get a pic of you? I promise I won't ask for nudes immediately. That's not reassuring. I just, now I'm thinking about nudes of a wooden duck. Tell me I'm pretty over and over, once is a compliment. Repeating it sporadically throughout the conversation at regular intervals is weird as hell and makes girls uncomfortable. Probably not as bad as some of the things here, but there was the boy who I used to sit near in a few classes and we talked here and there cause we had a few of the same interests. Then one day he came out and said he liked me. I told him I didn't and we were still friends after that but he got a lot more persistent. He'd bring his chair a little too close to me. If I moved to sit with someone else he'd drag a seat near us. If I spoke to any other guy he would literally start yelling at them and when I told him to stop he just said he being protective of his girl. I was super uncomfortable the whole time and had to switch seats or transfer out of any class we shared because my anxiety would shoot through the roof when I saw him. Guys and girls. Don't do this it's seriously awful. Message me on FB. See that I'm married. Then say I got to ask. Are you happily married? No dude. You didn't have to ask. Duck off into the sun. Shout at me from their cars. I'm going to say guys trying to hit on me through my daughter. OMG your daughter is so beautiful. Yeah I mean she's too but she's pretty cute. Just like her mommy okay we're going to go. Refused to back off after repeatedly being shot down. I told you that I do not like you and that I am not interested. Following me around like a lost puppy and talking to me constantly while I'm trying to work is not going to change my stance. I recently had a guy who drove his truck by my house as I was bringing my garbage cans in from the curb. By the time I turned around he had backed his truck up and said I needed to find someone to do that for me. I just kind of laughed and said I'm good and grabbed the last garbage can. I thought that was it but then he was still there when I turned back around. Are you taking applications? He says. I just say I'm good. Thanks. And head into my house. The dude sits there for another minute and then leaves. It's creepy enough having something like this happen. But for duck's sake. Don't ever hit on a woman in front of her ducking house. It made me so extremely uncomfortable. My husband couldn't even believe it when I told him about it. Pretend to be a girl online. When you make sure to tell them that you have a boyfriend and aren't interested or they either get agitated and say you're bullshitting and call you names or keep pushing further and further until you're cornered. Someone in my class once said they'd finger me if I did their homework for them. I wonder what the thought process was behind that. He really thought he was doing you a favor? When I worked as a cashier, playfully hold on to the bills they were giving me so I had to play tug of war with them just to do my ducking job. Stand too close. The feeling of someone invading your personal space, even just by standing those extra couple of inches closer than usual, sends all sorts of alarm bells ringing for me, especially if you edge back a little politely but they just come back in whenever anyone does this regardless of how nice a conversation we might have been having prior to this i just want to shove them out of the way and run like hell and trust me it takes a lot for this tubby little tea witch to feel like running thank god i don't have the confidence to do any of the things in this thread when a guy you have no feelings for starts getting romantic for no reason. I had this happen to me recently and it was unsettling if 
He started telling me that he remembers the days I wore a certain dress and calling me late into the night to check up on me and making plans to move into my apartment building. You can't just start treating me like a GF buddy without at least checking with me if I wanna date you. Had a guy try to hit on me at my dad's funeral. He was being super creepy, touching my waist on accident, invading my personal space, etc. When I asked him to leave me alone he still tried to hit on me. Eventually I pointed to the casket and said do you see that? That's my dad. So show him and I some ducking respect and leave me alone he left pretty soon after that. Men. Don't hit on women at funerals. Not cute. If you message me on social media, please don't call me baby girl. It's weird. Edit. Grammar. I recently had a lift passenger who didn't put in an actual address but he pretended like he did. Spent the whole ride asking me out. Then told me I went way past his address and that he wouldn't tell me where to go unless I agreed to out with him. Then tried to get me to go into his house with him. Stop doing this shit. Learn that no means no. We owe you nothing. Kindness does not mean interest. Especially if we are at work. I work with elderly people and the creepiest thing is when old men like 80 plus proclaim their never ending love to me. I'm 18. Touch the small of my back when going behind me. Presumably to let me know they're passing. Yet you never see them doing the same when they walk behind guys. Hit on me when I'm clearly wearing headphones and focusing on something I'm doing. When they get super attached super quickly. I've had a lot of guys message me online and they tend to get quickly attached. Giving me nicknames. Baby. Babe. Babajarol. ETC. Constantly asking for selfies. Finding all my accounts and following them. I've had a few who've followed me on all my accounts so they can message me on my second when I lose their message leave them on read from the first. Then they'll HMU on my third account. Also had guys who tried to hit up my sister message me just to get to her. Other guys who've messaged my brother to get to her. Fellas. A word of advice. If she's sending short responses and eventually doesn't respond at all. There's a good chance she's not interested. Don't try to get to her using her other accounts or her siblings. It comes across as creepy and desperate. Especially if you've never even met before. When you're in a crowded place and a guy tries to move past you from behind and he grabs your waist and rubs his genitals against you as he moves along. You don't have to touch someone to move past them. Say excuse me and move along. I'm not a girl. But watching a guy ask for a hug is always creepy. He usually asks with puppy dog eyes too and is oblivious to the look on the woman's face that screams discomfort right after he makes the request. Had a male co-worker take me outside to look at owls in some trees. Which was cool. But he pinched my shirt at the small of my back to redirect my attention so I could spot them. He's a nice guy and not threatening. But for some reason it made me flush hot with anxiety and dread because we were in a really secluded location where no one could see us. It was probably an overreaction on my part but was an automatic response I couldn't help. I don't think he's a creep but feels worth mentioning so guys know how much it may scare a female to touch them unexpectedly in a secluded location. Just don't do that please. I can turn you straight. It's not funny. It's creepy that you're coming onto a gay girl. Also, the hands. The hand sanitizer hands. Please don't. Like please. I hate being approached in public when I am by myself. I've had numerous guys approach me in the mall and try to strike up a convo with me hit on me. I was wearing a shirt with Link and Epona one day in the mall. These two guys were walking by and staring at me. Then they said nice shirt so I said thank you to be polite. Then they walked in front of me to stop me so that they could keep talking to me. They insisted I come play Smash Bros with them sometime and wanted me to add them on my Switch and on Facebook. Then they tried to ask me for a hug goodbye when I tried to get away from them. Also, when guys try to pick you up at your place of employment. I've had so many customers try to get my number when I used to work in retail. I had one customer that actually called the store back half an hour after he left because I seemed like such a sweet girl and was really pretty and it was really nice of me to return his game for him. I returned his game because I was doing my job lol he proceeded to ask for my number so that we could get a drink sometime. No thanks. It got so bad that when certain customers came into the store, my manager would send me to the stock room until they left so that I didn't feel uncomfortable or get creeped on. 
Accidentally brushing up against my body. I know what you're doing. Pervert. Calling me names like honey. Sweetheart. Baby. Love. Things like that. Freaks me out. Especially if they're strangers. The following have all been done by strangers on the street. Following me after I ignored a greeting. Stopping me in the street to ask for my number. Cat calling. Compliments on the street. Getting into my personal space while I'm literally taking steps away from that person. Random greeting using babe. Hot stuff. Gorgeous etc. And many more. That basically sum up as the reason I don't go out alone at night. Ugh when random guys just text you. Like no idea who that person is. For nudes. Hook up and shit. Not a girl. But a feminine looking dude who gets mistaken for one more often than not. There's the obvious wolf whistling. Grabbing my ass and stuff. But the thing that upset me the most was when I worked retail. I could tell the customers who thought I was a woman. Because they spoke to me differently. I was 16 at the time getting like 40 year old men calling me baby and shit just because I was a girl in a game store. Make off handed comments about my breasts. But or intimate parts. Creepy. Even if it's meant as a joke. Speaking on behalf of my wee sister here. She went through depression a few months back and still had guys in her DMS constantly. The sheer amount that said they could fix her was unreal. Utterly disgusting. She deleted snapchat because of it. I can't even be mildly nice to guys without them assuming I'm interested in them. I get along really well with nerdy dorky guys but I haven't had one guy friend be okay with being just friends. Even if they have a gf. Out of the dozen or so guy friends I've had over the years I'm not friends with anymore because I didn't want to date them. Outcast guys are just as bad as jerks. Comment on my clothing. Like if I know you fine but if you're a random dude in Walmart who wants to have a 5 minute long conversation about how ripped my jeans are you can duck off. I've had guys just stand kinda close and wait to be included in whatever I'm doing. Like just stand there staring. It's cool if you're doing it to a group but if I'm alone it's so creepy. Sliding into my DMs when we've never ever had a single conversation. I'm all for making friends online. But I'm not going to start privately messaging with you because you've decided I'm your manic pixie dream girl or whatever. I only DM with people I already feel comfortable with. Otherwise it feels very invasive. Like someone turning up on your doorstep saying hey so I saw you in town the other day and I didn't speak to you at all but you seemed really cool. Can I come in for a coffee? I promise I'm not a homicidal maniac. They ask me for nudes. Try to time our schedules so that we accidentally run into each other. I'm not saying like, they go far out of their way, that would be stalking. But for example, in a college class I took a few years back this one dude would pack up at my same speed and look up at me periodically to make sure we were both going to head through the door right about the same time. It really just made me want to yell at him in front of 30 people to ducking stop. It's not stalking necessarily, but it's gross, and we hate it. It makes us feel like prey trying to escape, and yes, women do this too. For me it's unnecessary attention to the way I look on a particular day. I had male friends state that he liked my shade of lipstick and then proceeded to just stare at my lips for the rest of the night. It was so gross and felt super violating. He has done it a bunch of times after that time and I dk how to even communicate that it makes me feel disgusting. Also, trying to gauge interest by doing everything except being honest and upfront. Like I don't want to be at the receiving end of questions like, do you think this is attractive? And this happens to be someone who basically can pass off as your doppelganger, or being subject to weird and unnecessary touching. Try to steal me from my boyfriends. Honestly, like what? What's so hard to understand that I'm in a happy relationship? When they do this thing in bars, clubs, brunch, church where they will grab you as you move about. My immediate reaction is never subtle and they are somehow always shocked by this. Also following while walking on the street. ETA since some of you don't grasp implied concepts and are trying not all men this post. I am specifically talking about men who are actually following every turn especially after turning down their advances. Sometimes while yelling angrily and generally forcing me to break into a walk sprint and change my course to the closest police department. In terms of online dating. Getting overly flirty romantic before the first date. 
I generally keep the conversation pretty friendly to A. Get a sense of their actual personality and B. Avoid building up a texting chemistry that straight up doesn't translate to real life. I've had some dudes go a little overboard within the first couple days of us messaging. One told me he was all mine for as long as I would have him. He was sad I was going away that weekend we matched on Thursday. Talking about future hangouts before we had our first. Another said he couldn't stop thinking about me and I seemed so special. Etc. I'm not trying to be the fun police but it's uncomfortable when I get put on a pedestal based on a few cute pictures and maybe 100 words worth of messages. I duck you in public. It's really gross. Just tell me I'm beautiful or something lol but don't be weird. Ro. You made it to the end. You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content might. It's free and that's a great price.